Hi there, my name is Mayan Shah with RVMax.us and right behind me I have a 2021 Columbus River Ranch 390 RL. This is a one level fifth wheel and um, as you'll see going through the coach it's um, or going through this fifth wheel, this is pretty dang well equipped and it's got some unique features. Of course, the biggest thing right off the bat, you probably already heard, it's a one level fifth wheel. So the interior is all on one level and that gives us some unique features. But let's go ahead and start with the front um, because the front and rear, we've got these uh, finishes, but that include some cameras and we're gonna touch on that. But first off, the front is a fiberglass painted cap. Got that River Ranch logo, pretty straightforward. There's um, side cameras along each side. So you've got two on this front cap and you've got a bunch of LED marker lights and all that good stuff. You've also got a rear camera in the back so you can easily plug into a socket in your truck and uh, be able to see the sides of your fifth wheel as well as your rear camera with ease. Now, this is a flex air so it gives you a little more stability. And around in this patio space, we've got a double electric awning setup. And uh, there's LEDs in the arms of the awning. So at night, it gives you a pretty solid and well-lit experience and allows you to enjoy this massive patio space. Now, this is 42 feet long. And with that, um, along with the one design, one level design, you've got an incredible amount of storage. So straightforward little magnet holds. Let me go ahead and open this up. So this is the front cargo hold. And on the other side right there, we've got some control components. We'll talk more about that on the other side, but this is a massive amount of storage. And um, some of the things on the other side you'll see are actually switches. So it's got a touch screen to do everything, but they gave you additional backup direct switches, which is a nice touch. But this is a huge amount of storage. Just gonna close it down. And as mentioned, this is an aluminum framed build and the aluminum framed superstructure. So pretty lightweight. It's got a uh, unloaded vehicle weight of around 13,000 and change, somewhere around 13,700, I think. And the GVWR is around 18,000 and change. Um, you can also look that up on the uh, brochure for this coach. Now, this has a six-point hydraulic leveling system. It's uh, got a full auto mode, so that's what we use here today. It's automatically leveled itself. We added some little chocks up there just to give it a little more height, just in case. And you know, that was a nice little touch to have all six and the auto level, of course. Now the axles are 8,000 pounds a piece. These are more ride 4,000s. Um, as far as the um, wheels go, we've got 16 inch aluminum wheels and they are like a dual tone aluminum. They look pretty good, nitrogen filled um, and there are external speakers here too. So you can play a radio out here or the music, Bluetooth, and uh, absolutely rock out. There's also some uh, external power outlets. Now there's a propane quick disconnect right down here. So you can easily set up a grill out here um, or a flat top, a griddle, whatever you may have. It'd be pretty sweet. Now this is the crown jewel of the storage space. I believe you can fit about a 22 foot or 23 foot kayak down here, which is absolutely stunning. There's a ton of access points, of course. So three massive doors on this side. There's two massive doors on the other side. That box right there houses our air conditioning system, which we'll talk more about in a second. But we've also got Howdy. So that is a ton of storage. And um, as you can see, that is one of the huge benefits of having a one level fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side. And um, around back is pretty straightforward. We've got a nice solid ladder here. 
It's uh, blacked out, so it looks pretty low key, especially against this white, it's nice. Matches the rest of the handles and stuff. LED tail lights and um, just a straightforward setup. That's an emergency uh, escape window as well. And um, it's nice to note that all the windows, or most all of them except the side windows, are frameless windows with hidden hinges as well. So they look really sleek from inside and from the outside. And they all vent out and it's just a nice feature. Let's go ahead and, um, like I said, go on the other side. Um, you know, of course you see this got a little extra hitch here on the back. And um, let's see, it's, it has a 300 pound towing capacity on this little hitch. So you can add an extra rack or something like that back here with ease. Now here is the driver's side, if you will, of this fifth wheel. Now right back here is our basement residential air conditioning system. This is a two ton unit. And this unit will also provide you with electric heat pump heat. Now what's pretty special about this coach, we have, um, in addition to this two ton residential air conditioning unit, we have the heat pump of course, and then we have a standard 35,000 BTU furnace that uses propane. So our two propane tanks um, with the easy fill on the front. What's special about this coach is it uses that residential ducting for the gas heat as well as the air conditioning and heat pump. And there's also a feature with the touchscreen that allows you to automatically switch over from the electric heat pump to the propane fired furnace. Meaning when it's cold out and it's right around the edge, you can try to use as much of the heat pump as possible and then it'll automatically switch to the propane heat. You won't even notice. So that is a, a huge plus, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Alan for giving me that insight when he's walking around this. Now this, oh, before we move on, is a 50 amp power cord reel. It's an electric power cord reel, and um, I believe it's about, probably about 35 or 30 feet long. I could be wrong, that's just an estimate. Push button electric to reel it in. Now here we have just a ton of access, right? I mean, just. That storage is massive. I was shocked when I first saw this. These doors are made to shut like that. Now right there is where you'll notice the, um, the furnace system, the propane fired furnace. And right down below we have our dump for our two gray tanks as well as our black tank. So the black tank is about 39 gallons. Um, the gray tank is about 75 gallons. And so is the freshwater tank. Now my gray tank estimate could be wrong, so um, we might overlay those numbers here, but uh, no matter, they're pretty sizable tanks actually for a fifth wheel. And right here is where our propane fired continuous hot water heater. This is a tankless system and uh, the control for it is in the shower. You flick it on, uh, or it's in the bathroom I should say. You flick it on when you need it, comes right on. It's very efficient. doesn't just keep that hot heat sitting there. And right here we have the other side of our storage compartment. Now on the right, of this compartment is where you'll notice those um, main switches that I mentioned. And, and that's in addition to this nice 12 volt disconnect right there. This is the LCI main control box. Now the coach does have a built-in Wi-Fi system so you can um, act, have internet connection if you want to hook in a card. It's got the uh, WineGuard system, 360 air up top. So that's pretty sweet. Now here is where you have our automatic hydraulic leveling system control. And there's also a 1000 watt inverter. So this has the optional residential refrigerator and 1000 watt inverter. So you can power up things on the road like your microwave and things like that. So that is really sweet. And the refrigerator um, looks quite nice too. So you notice we've got two more slides on this side, quad slides, huge, all controlled through a touch screen. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, there's some outside patio lights right by your connections for your 50 amp. So that's really nice, right? When you get in late at night or something, it's got the LED light to light you up at night, um, you know, so to allow you to easily hook up to it. Now let's go ahead and take a step on the inside or the interior cabin space because it's quite spacious and just set up in, uh, in a way that'll knock your socks. So this interior space, as you walk in, you're first met with your kitchen space. This is pretty standard um, setup. Now the floor plan itself with the one level 
just feels very unique with the hallway over there, the spacious master suite, as well as this pretty expansive um, kitchen slash living space. I just, again, the one level is very unique. You don't have the typical little stairs or whatever. You've got this beautiful area and sometimes those multi-level, but one, they can be cool. But uh, again, this is a unique and I think a um, quite compelling floor plan. Now let's begin right now with this pretty sleek uh, kitchen space. So we've got this nice large Corian countertop. It's an island here in the middle and this uh, kind of deep, deep dark bronze finish on the faucet. Of course, the extension here. And this is a large stainless sink. And within this stainless sink, we have all sorts of different arrangements here. So as you see, there's a cutting board. There's also this little rack here, which you can set here. There's multiple layers and there's also a mini sink um, with a drain. So if you want to wash something and keep it contained, you can kind of do that within your mini sink. So that I think was quite well designed and it all packs in so well here. I love this little drying rack. That's just so neat. Put it right there. So uh, again, huge countertop space. And on each side, we have these extensions that provide us with two 120 ports as well as two USB ports. And that's on both sides of the island. Now on the other side of our island, we've got a large gas range. And I love the racks on top of it. Um, the way the racks look, they kind of give it that, uh, I don't know, kind of grill top. It just looks more sophisticated than a regular RV. Uh, grill. Down below we've got a graystone oven and this is quite the oven right here. Very large again and sleek. It looks like a household unit right here. That's what I love the most about it. And uh, they all have auto lighters as well. So up top we've got a Samsung microwave and storage on opposing sides. And again we're met with many more ports on both sides of this countertop space. We've got two more 120 outlets as well as two USB ports on both sides. And I love the window that's symmetrically behind this grill top. And uh, it looks nice. We've got the classic um, drop down little shade here. And I like how it's black. That kind of makes it look a little more sleek. All the windows um, are vent out. There's a couple on the sides of the slide that slide up and down, but they're all vent out windows. So you can easily get a draft going through here. Um, oh, let's go ahead and finish this up before I get sidetracked. First of all, we do have a electric fan right here and this fan does have a shroud. It's got a really nice max air shroud up top so you can have it open while it's raining and whatnot. Of course, there's vent out windows everywhere. So the rain is not going to be an issue. Um, plus the vent out windows are nice when it's raining. You can just, you can let them open and hear the rain a little more, but that's a nice electric fan. And here we've got this very nicely finished Samsung refrigerator household refrigerator, massive amount of space. We've got a couple drinks in here of our own and uh, LED lit. There's um, an ice maker as well as filtered water over here, which is really nice. It's pretty much like a household. And down below, we've got this large drawer style freezer. So this is a large and nice setup right here. And uh, again, I love that finish. It looks so sleek. So right here in this nifty little corner, we've got a walk-in pantry. And uh, this walk-in pantry is set up quite beautifully. Three stained shelves. And then on the very top, we've got two extra racks, which you can take out if you'd like. So that's right, full walk-in pantry with an automatic light. So no extra light switch to finick with. Close that, I love that feature. And um, with that, Let's talk about the uh, incredible amount of space in here, right? Holy cow. This entire island is pretty much made of storage. That's all this island serves. We've got three deep drawers. We've got this massive amount of storage underneath the sink that has the flooring and the rest of the coach continued under there. And then we've got another massive amount of storage on this left side right here. Um, with the flooring continued on the bottom again and that beautiful wood up top. So huge amount of storage. I mean, just a massive amount of storage in the kitchen space. Now here is our 50 inch um, flat screen TV. 
This is a TV that will come out like so. And you can get a nice angle on that couch there. So I quite like that. And this is a pretty large TV to have in here. That's in addition to this nice JBL sound system down below. You can play your music through it if you'd like. There's a nice subwoofer. That's a pretty high end or pretty decent um, system you'll see. Uh, as, uh, as far as the sound bar goes, this is pretty good. Now there's also storage down below. And almost all of the cabinets in the coach are soft close. So you just shut them just like that. It's actually quite interesting. The first time we came in here, it was like, oh, this feels very weird. It's just like a house. Um, again, you just, there it is, it soft closes. It's quite nice. Um, anyways, the den area is uh, also fitted with an electric fireplace, which you can change the colors of the little stones on the bottom if you like, and it will put out heat. So I think it's like, I can't remember how many BTU, I think it's 5,000 BTUs. So it's actually pretty decent. You can set it with thermostat. There's a remote for it. And for the rest of our den space here, opposing our TV entertainment center with the fireplace, we've got a large amount of windows and a little more storage up top. There's additional JBL speakers over here to give you a surround sound experience. And that large couch right there will turn into a bed, a quite large bed actually, folds out um, there's no air mattress, you use all of its own cushions, so it's pretty simple and straightforward. And right here, we have our theater seats. So these seats are quite nice. Um, we've got individual USB ports, as well as the LED um, little backlighting in the cup holders, and they are electric. So you just push a button, and it reclines, and it'll continue reclining, and it'll continue reclining until you could just go to sleep. <laughs> so let me push that back. I love the cup holders. I love this material too, because instead of going with um, a cheap pleather, which I mean, I don't know what the expense comparison is. This is like a textured material. Just, it feels a lot more durable um, than pleather. That, uh, at least feeling wise to me, that's what I get from this. Now this has a little storage compartment and even that has soft clothes. Okay. This is our dinette space, and this will fold out, and um, there's a little slide bar underneath, so you have a little extra seating arrangement, and the amount of space on here is quite fantastic. I also quite like these chairs. They, they feel like a very sleek hotel room type chair, and there's a good bit of space on both sides to give you ample seating room. Um, even if you want to seat extra people, you can have them sitting out here and of course spread out throughout this kitchen space. But yeah, this island, this setup, quite nice. And I'm sure you noticed up front, we do have a ceiling fan. So this coach has two ceiling fans, Got one up here in the living room and one in the back. Now, as we walk into our hallway that leads us to the master suite, we've got an LCI touchscreen here. There is an app that sucks, um, but it does exist. And uh, as you can see, it's getting warm. I have the AC off because this microphone sucks, to be honest, um, relative to the nice Sennheiser stuff or whatever. And uh, the AC will pick up. But this has a residential air conditioning system, as mentioned, which is uh, definitely quieter than your standard rooftop air conditioners. That's for sure. You can control it all through here. Um, I like leaving it on low. It's quite quiet in the bedroom. You can kind of hear it, but you just hear the whoo, um, noise. But you can see, um, basically do everything from here. You can level the coach from here, you can turn on lights from here, you can um, check your air conditioning, set that from here, you can do pretty much everything through the touch screen. The only things you can't do are, are a few lights throughout the coach, that's literally it. Everything is through that touch screen. Modern day coach, right? So right here is something I wanna to touch on. This is my girlfriend's, uh, Kaya, this is her point out to me, and uh, it makes sense. This material is quite sleek, quite, quite nice to look at. Um, and I think is uh, not gonna be a fad. There's a touches of gray in here. That's another thing that I noticed. Some coaches, newer coaches, especially this is a 2021, there's just a ton of gray, right? They're just grayed out. We have gray in here, but it's accented by this very tasteful, deep, rich, dark wood, and uh, the dark, like the dark smoked black or bronze um, sink as well, the faucet, 
and some other dark. I just think that they very tastefully use the gray um, in a way that, again, it makes it feel fresh and new. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's continue because I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to styles, as you can clearly see start coming up with sentences that make very little sense. But here is our very sleek bathroom space. We've got a dual porcelain sink setup, which I love, and a very large countertop space. We've got about a mile between the front of this countertop and our double vanity back there. But anyways, I think this is a very nice setup. LED light bars, lots of lighting, and across from it, we've got our toilet here. There's a ton of space in this bathroom area. I mean, as you see, they even fit us with some more extra cabinets over here. Oh, soft close. And there's a lot of storage down below these cabinets as well. And um, again, this is where I was talking about that gray. We've got some gray up there and it's met with that dark brown. I think it's a quite nice style. Now this is a three glass piece enclosed shower. And this is the largest shower that I've seen. Um, on our lot, so this is huge, right? I mean, holy cow, I can walk. It's like, go for a walk. <laughs> we just walk around here. It's absolutely huge. The skylight is made to look so small. I mean, look at the skylight. That should give you a good reference point um, as your standard RV shower. This is huge. I don't know how many times I can say it. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Um, and hopefully it doesn't look bigger than it is on camera. I mean, I know that's a factor. But this is the largest that I've seen on a lot. And I'm all about having large showers. And in addition to a large shower, what do you need? That's right, you need a continuous hot water system. So that we have. And the control for it is in the shower room. So you flick that sucker on, you've got continuous hot water. That's the best way to enjoy the largest RV shower that I've seen. All right, come on into our bedroom. So this is our bedroom. We've got a king bed. We've got that kind of dulled gold style, subtly thrown in here, LED lights on each side, very nice styling. You know, the materials aren't, of course, the heaviest duty because this is a pull behind at the end of the day, but the way they finished out all this stuff just looks very nice. And when you're inside this coach, um, it just feels so comforting and large and just, it doesn't feel like any other RV experience, that's for sure. Um, it's just so big, it's, it's not a bus, right? And um, just the way it's set up with this floor plan feels more like a nice high-end hotel suite to me than an RV. Now back in the back, we've got this huge wardrobe space. So three doors, all three doors slide anywhere you'd like shoe rack space there um very large space in here a little led light love how they continued that same flooring throughout in the back of the wardrobe and so because of this triple door setup you can get to any part of it right with ease there's locks of course for all this so i still have a good bit of walkway around here right here we've got a washer dryer stack set that right there so that's a nice option to have from the factory easily keep all your clothes in order or whatnot. And up above here, we've got these three large, deep, cavernous storage compartments. Again, equipped with soft clothes, right? Stuff is really nice. More space all around. Another electric heater slash fireplace that has that LED light bar underneath that you can change the colors of. I think it looks absolutely nice. It really adds to the atmosphere in the coach. And up on top of this entertainment center, we have another, I believe this is another 50 inch, this is a 50 inch TV for our bedroom. So we've got another huge TV. This one's on a televator. So there's a button in that cabinet to slide it down. And then you've got your big quarry and countertop space again. And then over here on the left, we've got, um, again, two more outlets, 120, in addition to two USB ports. And it's worth noting that one side of the bed does have shelves. Um, in addition, it's in a unique, very, in a very homey way they've got that little corner there set up and there is a ceiling fan in here too so that is one heck of an interior and um, i think the only thing i'm thinking i forgot to touch on i mean there's probably a ton of things i forgot to touch on there's a couple outlets everywhere um, blah 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 
One of the things was the MCD shades. So this does have MCD shades. The ones all in the bedroom are just uh, single night shades. The ones all up here have the day and night shades. So um, MCDs are the high end ones and I'm glad to see that they use that in here. Plus all of these screens, you can easily pop out. I mean, I'm talking just five seconds once you get the hang of it, probably 20 seconds once you get the hang of it. Um, you can pop them in and out so you can have that clear view out of the coach if you'd like. And um, yeah, oh, all the windows are very nicely tented too. So a lot less sun in the first place is let in. And I think that's about it. This, again, one level four plan in this fifth wheel gives it a very unique perspective. The way the master suite set up just feels like a, a five-star hotel as far as the floor plan and the interior of that, that bathroom is just awesome, right? Large, huge shower, continuous hot water, you get the gist. Um, again, kitchen space is another strong point of this coach. We've got the huge pantry walk-in, a big real oven with that huge household style grill, outlets everywhere, and this unique sink that's very useful. It's like the Swiss army knife of sinks. And uh, again, quite a nice setup. Hope you enjoyed it. Call me if you're interested in this coach um, or shoot me a text if you'd like. But this coach right here is uh, like new. It's pretty much brand new. All of the new coach kinks um, were worked out, right? So a lot of times you buy brand new stuff and there are new coach kinks. Everybody knows that. So this is the perfect culprit, right? 2021, so it's pretty much brand new, yet it's not exactly brand new. It's about 14 months old. That is a sweet spot for buying a new coach. You avoid the big depreciation. And on top of that, you get a higher fidelity coach because it's actually been used. This was used by experienced campers. This was not their first rodeo. They'd had many RVs in the past. It was traded in our dealership. So this is the perfect candidate and I argue better than buying new. Hope you have a great night or day. And also happy 4th, happy Independence Day. That's when we're recording this right now.